Hi there, today I will be unboxing, I just cut the box open, my new Longchamp Le Pliage um, classic bag. I purchased it in the color Pillsbury, which is back. It was discontinued for a while, but I was told by my sales associates that people wanted that color back so that they brought it back. So this is what it looks like in here. That's the packaging from the store. And let's see here. Oh, this is nice. I guess it's like a card in case I'm gifting it to someone. And then my receipt. I don't want to show the other side, so I don't show my information. Um, I do like how they wrap their bags. This one retails for 125, and like I mentioned, it's the size small but with the shoulder strap i didn't want to buy it in the size large because i already have a couple large ones so i want something a little smaller than what i have i've been wanting this color for a long time um and i've had a lot of play play ash bags but um i never had this color and, uh, Every time I would try to buy it, it was always like in the pre-love market. And when I saw that it was back, I took advantage of it. The only different in price between the small one and the large one, I believe it's $20. The small one, this size, it retails for $125. And the large one retails for $145. But I already had a couple large ones. So I wanted a small one. I used to have a small one in red. But I gifted that one to my sister. It's still wrapping paper. It's like the long shop logo. And it's beautiful. There it is. And the color is Billsberry, which is kind of like a plum color. Beautiful. And the shoulder strap. Always be careful. Uh, when I first started buying Le Pliage, I didn't notice one time. And I purchased a small one and I didn't read um, shoulder straps it was actually a top handle strap and those retail usually a top handle strap small retail for 110 but I wanted the shoulder I did return that back and ended up buying something else and this is a perfect size for me not too big not too small I do have my large one that I'm using today in the color khaki color and I'm going to show, let me close it here quick, the difference in size. The strap should be about the same length. And then, show them. So that's the difference in size. It's still a very noticeable difference. Of course, one's full, the other one's brand new. Um, nothing in it. They both have the gold hardware. I'm gonna show the hardware. It will always says 1948 because that was the year that it was founded, the company. And I'm gonna show the button. This bag, I've seen them in the pre-love market. Um, they have a lot of fake ones out there, so. Always be careful when you buy pre-love because I've seen a lot of fake Louis, but I've seen a lot more of fake Longchamps. It's made out of nylon. And the new models of the bag, it actually has two pockets. We'll have a big pocket and then a smaller pocket on the other side, on this side. The inside, the pockets are not plum color, but the inside is black. So I probably will be using like maybe like a red pouch or something that I can see right away. I'm very satisfied with this. Um, at one point I did have a lot of long shams, but I gifted some to my sister. I always give her a lot of my bags once I'm done with them. Um, and I did sell probably two in the pre-love market. 
They didn't make much of a profit out of them. And then, so it says in the back. If you buy from the Longchamp website, a lot of times the shipping is free. You don't have to pay for it. Another good thing about these bags, they do, Longchamp does do a complimentary first time repair. So if the corners get a little worn, worn out, you can take it in and they will fix it for you. It might take a couple weeks, but it will look like brand new. And I think any other repairs after that, there will be like a small charge. Nothing like Louis. They would never charge $500 to fix one of those bags. Because with $500, you could buy yourself a new bag. So, great bags. Um, I would say it's waterproof. Um, I've been caught in the rain a lot of times and my stuff have not gotten wet. But... I'm not telling you to go out there in the rain and carry this bag, but if you're caught in the rain, the odds are you don't have to worry about your items getting wet. So this one's the long classic in the Billsberry color. Then I have the large in the khaki color. I have the red one in large, which red is one of my favorite colors. So these are like the classic colors too. The red one. And then this one, it's my favorite one. I bought it last year out of the LGP section, which is just like a different long show. Um, it does have the big pocket with the stars and the little one. This one's the black with the stars. They did make this one in blue. And I was gonna buy it in blue, but when I saw it in person, I didn't like it as much. So I stick to the black one. I've noticed a lot of their um, LGP collection. The bags are actually made in France. This one's made in France. And then a lot of the classic ones, they're not made in France. Let's see where this one's made. I don't think they're made in China. They're made in another country. I forgot the name, but I can look for the tag. Here it is. Here's the tag. And it says, um, Longchamp Paris, made in Tunisia. And then I'll have that serial number. When you take it inside um, a Longchamp store, they know when it's a fake and when it's a real one. But they also like to put in this code and that would tell them the materials that were used to make this bag. That way when they send it in for repairs, they know what kind of materials they need to use. One thing about this bag, I also have a travel size and it's under the travel section in the Longchamp website. And it looks just like this, but a little bit larger and short handle and that's usually what I use to travel a lot. I forgot I had that one because I only use it when I travel and I haven't been anywhere lately. At one point I had like a lot of them and I even had the mini top handle but I've been trying to be good. Um, I want the bags that I know I'm gonna use in my collection. Um, I mentioned about the pockets. It has a small and a big pocket, the new version. This one right here is the old version and it only has one pocket. So if you ever get it with one pocket, don't think that you're buying a fake one. It might just be the old model. The new model now has two pockets. Um, small leather goods or small long shop item I have is also this one here. And I love it. I use it for like coin pouches. Um, sometimes I put my lip gloss or my headphones in here. It fits quite a lot. In this retails, I believe $40, $45. And then 
say about a week or two ago, I made a video about my Longchamp Cure, which is their leather collection. And then I have this one. So it's a brand I love buying from. They have great quality. And their bags are very well known. And I think I've said everything I have to say about the brand. It's one of my favorite brands. Oh, I mentioned their water resistant. I haven't done it with my new ones, but when I had, about a year ago, when I had a lot of them, there were a few of my old ones that I had stains on, like juice and stuff like that, and I did throw them in my washing machine, in my dryer, and it was fine. Nothing happened to the bag. The bags were okay. But it, they don't recommend putting them in your washing machine. But if you do, and you put them in your dryer, you shouldn't worry, because I did that with a lot of my old long chumps, and they turn out looking brand new. And so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. And I definitely do recommend the bag. Thank you for watching.